hello everyone today i would like to show you how to create some amazing 3d social media icons using html and css only these icons as you see here can rotate when you hover over them like this so i would like to show you how this is possible so we can begin by creating a simple html layout here in our html we have to include the font awesome library because that's where we're going to be getting the links to the social media icons before you begin if you look at these icons critically we observe that each of the icons has a front face and a back face it means in our html for every icon we are going to be entering it twice once for the front page and another one for the back page so let's begin here we shall create our simple div tractor as a container for the social icons okay and i give it a class of social let me call it social icons okay then inside here i'm going to enter the icons the front face and the back face i'll give it a class facebook and you say the icon should have a front face and a back face so inside here we're going to put two divs one for the front face and the other one for the back face so we begin with the front face div let's give it a class call it front okay then inside here i'll put the social media icons so this is the front face the front face of the facebook icon uh, we can check it out and see what we have on the website here so you see it is here that's the front face and we can do the same thing but now we change the class for the back face so we just copy this copy and then paste it again here then we change the class to instead of front we change it to back so in that case we are going to be having two icons one representing the front face and one representing the back face like that for facebook so we haven't yet begun styling so we can do the same thing for other icons we see we have facebook we have twitter google plus let's add all of them here so we go back yes copy the whole of this and then copy and paste so paste there so we change this from facebook we put twitter okay then even this one we do the next one twitter google plus so we go for google plus last one is LinkedIn so we are going to add it here yeah that's it then we're going to have refresh and check our website and see so you can see we have two icons for each each of these icons the first one is for the front face and the second one is for the back face so that is our HTML layout. So from there we're going to begin the styling. So we go to our style.css. We have just given our uh, the general layout for the body and HTML. So we shall begin by styling the first class. This is the social icons. This div acts as the container for the icons. So we are going to style it so that we can make sure the icons can be visible in the middle of our page here. Yeah? So
this is how you position the icons in the center and so you can have a look at what that looks like so you see the icons have been moved in the center of our page here okay Okay, let's see here what we have so far. Yeah, so we see our icons here. Text align, center, align height. You can put 60 pixels. This helps us to center the icons in the middle of the buttons in case you are making like an icon button the icons will be in the middle then you can also put a transition let's put a transition of 0 0.5 seconds so that will be used this will be useful later when you begin the hovering process then you can also put a, a transform you can put a transform style let me say preserve 3D. That means that when you hover, when the 3D styling occurs, the, I, the icon remains in the final 3D position. You'll be seeing that when you begin the real styling for the movement of those icons. Let's see what's this like. So here we are styling the front face. Now we have given the back face visibility, meaning visible. In other words, we are seeing the the back face. In other words, we have two faces: the front face and the back face. In this case, the back face is visible and rotated. But these properties now will be more understandable when you begin the rotation, the rotation property. But let's first give this front face. Uh, let's increase the fonts a bit. Yeah, it's a bit bigger now. Okay, let's tell now. We finish the front. Let's go to the back now. Let's see what that looks like. So you see here, this back face visibility hidden means that we are hiding the back face. So in other words, initially we're only going to be seeing the front face, or the icons of the front face. So the back face is now hidden to only be visible after the rotation of the, for the front face. If you look here, the front page, what is the front page? The icons of the, the icon hex color. And the icon is white so you can make it more beautiful here by including these other colors for the front page so we go back so now we say so when you check here you see this is my twitter giving the background for the color for twitter in that case, you observe that um, we also give the same to this Facebook, Google, and even the others. So we just copy and paste. So we can do the same for all the other remaining ones. Like you see here, we have the hex colors for Facebook, Google Plus, Instagram, and LinkedIn. So we just now have a look 
at what that looks like here okay so you put the individual colors for facebook twitter google plus instagram and linkedin then from here you can even check if you compare with the this one this the icons are white so you can change that let's look and see yeah you know that oh, i can increase the fonts a bit let me see if i increase the font size to 25 pixels what happens yeah i think that's more beautiful here you discover that when you hover here you hover there's a rotation this one rotates the front face rotates 90 degrees downwards or the back face rotates 90 degrees to become visible okay so we need to stay with that so we are going to come here and we say So here means that when you rotate, if your front face is going to rotate 90 degrees downward, then the back face is going to become visible. So you can check that out. You see, when you rotate, becomes visible. Rotate becomes visible. Okay, but the back, these icons are a bit small, so you can now start with this so they can be the same size as the front ones. check it out and see what we have now okay so we observe that now the fonts are more visible and the rotation property is applied here beautiful icons okay thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed the tutorial if you haven't subscribed you can subscribe to my channel and wait for more interesting stuff